Oh wow. Here it is. That is such a nice looking carriage. How cozy and just vintage does our bedroom look? So we're currently going to sleep in Liechtenstein. We are then through the night going to cruise through Switzerland and in the morning wake up in France. Hey guys and welcome to Venice. We've just arrived in Italy and the next few days are going to be so exciting. Because tomorrow morning we're gonna board the Orient Express headed towards London. So this particular train journey is extra special for me because when I was a kid, I used to watch classic old movies with my grandpa and one of our favorites was Murder on the Orient Express. And I could never imagine in my wildest dreams that I would be experiencing this journey tomorrow. So this video is dedicated to you, grandpa. This video has been kindly sponsored by Omaze and what's even more exciting is that they're giving away a trip for two on board the Venice Simplon Orient Express and what's even better is that your donations are going to go to a great cause. To enter, just head to omaze.com slash flying the nest for your chance to win. And seeing as we have one whole night in Venice, we may as well make the most of it. Technically, we are being very cultured tonight because we're having gnocchi yeah. and pizza. That's why I love it. It's the one place we can have pizza and not be judged. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys, it is the next day and our pickup has just arrived, our escort to the train station and it's happening on a boat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Awesome, thank you so much. This is definitely the best escort pickup service I think we will ever have. This is our first time we've ever gone on a boat in the canals. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh wow. Here it is. That is such a nice looking carriage. So what are we on? What carriage? We are in carriage A. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Beautiful yes. name, I love that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Venice Simple Rose Manage Rupert. And I'm gonna be having the pleasure to take care of you in the college tomorrow. This is so nice. Look at the wood finishing on here. Oh, okay. Eight. Oh, this is us. Look in. Wow, this is going to be our room for the next couple of days. Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Everyone has been so nice. Like this I just went and got a photo with the, the guy who's going to be looking after us. He's so cute. His name's Rupert as yeah, well. Rupert. <laughs> Oh, so they've left us a little package in there. Yeah, and these are our little like baggage tags. They're cute. Hi. 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 Give the ticket and the all oh. details. Here you See you later. Costa Azul, second restaurant in that way, and okay. midday. Perfect. Thank you, okay, See you, thank you so much. So we have a standard cabin here on the Orient Express and what happened was a company called Belmont bought out all the old original cabins, renovated it, and now it's called the Venice Simplon Orient Express and that was what we're currently on and where our journey will take us all the way to London. So let's give you guys a bit of a room tour because wow, this is just absolutely incredible. I just love the wooden finishings with the flower design on the doors here. You can just feel like it's a very luxurious cabin. And if you come over here, 
So if you are a family, you can buy a connecting cabin. So that is someone just through here. And in here we have our own, what would you say? bathroom net is that a correct term like a mini bathroom in here so it opens up and we have our own basin we've got running water on here we got some nice branded venice simple and orient express towels they even have and i'll have to give you guys a bit of a tour of this after but they have a luxury travel collection in here and i'm interested what's in here that really packs away nicely inside there over here we have a small table which I believe will pack away, but they have some crystal glasses just here. But yes, this is pretty much our chair. It is gigantic, it's like a massive couch, and I believe these will turn into our beds. It is bunk bed style. And that is of course because these are the original trains, and the original trains, well, they're not so modern where they would want humongous rooms. So it's definitely authentic to be in these rooms. I'm just so excited to be on here. Thank you. Rupert just bought us some champagne and our journey has begun. It's going to be an amazing two days. Thank you. Thank you if you want to. The saffron. Yes, sure. And the seeded one, the one. The white one. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. See, this is why we didn't have breakfast. <laughs> so no one will be eating all day. <laughs> Starting off with some Italian olive oil and some bread. Well, we look out the window at Italy. <laughs> oh, as well. Yeah. Please. First course is a tasty asparagus soup. It's good. It's really good. So our mains have just come out. We are having seafood. We have some sea bass with the prawn. It's so good. It's so good. It's like kind of like a lemony, lemony sauce to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mousse. Almost looks like an art piece, to be honest. Mm. It looks good. Mm -hmm. There's something inside. White chocolate mousse with apple. So to keep with the authentic style of how the trains were in the 1920s to 1940s, there isn't a shower on the train. However, they do have a beautiful bathroom, which is one at each carriage. This is the one closest to us. Coming here, there is, of course, your toilet. Really nice mirrors. I like how they've done that. And definitely one thing that stands out is it smells really nice in here. I don't know if it's the lotions or the perfume they put on in here, because usually train toilets, yeah. If you've been on an overnight train, you know what it's like, but of course this is a luxury one. Also, I do like how old school the toilet flush is. <laughs> wow. Bye. 
you so much. So it's a couple of hours later and we cannot stop looking outside this window. We just crossed the Dolomites in Italy. Oh my gosh, the mountains there are amazing. And we're actually about to cross into Austria. There's still so many mountains and all the houses have now turned from that Italian style into Austrian style. So it's so, so cool. But it's four o'clock, which means it is afternoon tea time. So Rupert has just come in and served <laughs> us tea. Everything, by the way, is actually, isn't it silver? Like proper silverware? Yeah, so I was reading. So it's silverware, it is bone china, and it is all very, very elegant. Fancy. And then we've got like a little array of um, different little sweets. But this has been so cool. We're actually going through five different countries. But afternoon tea is served. Bob's afternoon lunch in Italy, afternoon tea in Austria. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you got the red okay. carpet up and all. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> welcome to Austria, everyone. We found out that every time we're about to cross the border, they actually have to change the engine and the conductor to be from the next country. So we're about to go into Germany. So they're changing the engine to a German engine and changing the conductor to a German conductor. I had no idea. But welcome to Innsbruck, everybody. And this is so close to where we were just two series ago. When we were in the Bavarian Alps. Yes, cut to some amazing drone footage we got from there. <laughs> I want you to go with me everywhere I go. Do everything I do. That's how much I love you. All right, time to go to Germany. I want you to be with me every time I play When I'm sad or when I'm gay That's how much I love It's like. only been like just over two weeks since we're in this area and I already miss it. The Alps are just so beautiful this time of year. How much, how much, how much I love you Alrighty, when we get back from dinner this should be transformed into our bedroom. Okay, so here on the train, they actually have two sittings, a seven o'clock or a nine o'clock. We've opted in for seven because- We're grandmas. We're grandmas and I'm <laughs> so hungry. But dinner on the train is actually a formal event. So I went and actually, when do I buy this? Like three days ago. Three days ago <laughs> when it got a nice button up shirt with some black pants and some shoes and Jess has a nice dress on. Luckily I already had one. Yes. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I need to give you this. Yeah. Please, certainly, sir. Yeah. Oh, oh, perfect. Thank you so much. This is Paris Valentine? Yes. Valentine? Valentine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. We have some brown, white. Thank you. Chocolate flour with salmon and crepe Oh, okay. Chocolate vinegar. Okay, thank you. Another fancy, fancy meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see prawns. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. has just been transformed for the evening. Oh, whoa. Wow, <laughs> this looks cozy. So it's a bunk bed situation. So one can sleep down here. The other can sleep down there. Oh, put like a full on mattress down. Oh, well, they have. So, so it's, it's not... like a mattress, two pillows. I bagged oh. the top. You bagged the top? Yes, I bagged the top. Oh my gosh. Oh, the slippers. Nice, so they've given us some slippers and it also looks like they've given us some Orient Express robes. <gasps> and chocolate. If we haven't eaten enough. You will save these for later. <laughs> <laughs> but how cozy and just vintage does our bedroom look now yeah. that it's being prepared, especially with the dimmed lighting. Yes, I think it's time to uh, get into our robes. Yeah. Mm. We've been waiting till tonight to open this. It looks very lush. Oh, and it's even branded. Yeah. And I think we get to keep this, which is nice. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh. So it's like 
Oh, calming skin balm and soothing balm for aching feet. Moisturizing lip balm. Whoa, that's fancy. Oh, and there's more. Oh, wow, it's all like eye cream and stuff. What? We can just have like a little pamper session now. <laughs> that's so cool. This is huge. Oh, perfect. Whoa. That's nice. So we're currently going to sleep in Liechtenstein. We are then through the night going to cruise through Switzerland and in the morning wake up in France. But this is almost surreal, watching the classic movie whilst going to sleep on the train. Wow. We will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Just woke up, it's just after seven, and the sun is just starting to rise. So, our room has been transformed back into a uh, sitting area, and they've brought us breakfast. We're having a continental breakfast this morning, and they actually bring it to everyone's room. So, we've got coffee, freshly baked breads and croissants, a bunch of different jams and honeys, juice coffee and fresh fruit but that was like a very nice way to wake up yeah definitely <laughs> honestly guys we've had such an incredible and enjoyable journey so far and it's only now just starting day two we don't get into london until late this afternoon but it would be so amazing to see one of you do this journey and the grand prize is the full six days on the train so you go from paris all the way to istanbul including your return flights I would love to see one of you do this journey because it's just been unforgettable. Welcome to Paris! So here on the train they have a bar cart. And while we're chilling in Paris we thought we may as well come in and get a coffee. So they serve coffees, cocktails, champagne, wine. This place was like very busy last night full of people having some drinks. But we've come in this morning, much more quieter, got ourselves some cappuccinos and they've actually served us some cookies as well. You never get hungry on this train. You never get hungry on these trains. It's kind of like just being on a, a cruise ship on wheels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in our room, we found postcards. We've decided to write to our mum and dad. And I wrote, I'm currently writing to you on board the Orient Express. Unfortunately, no one got murdered, but they did serve lobster for brunch. Lots of love, Jess. Did you say unfortunately or fortunately? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, hope to see you guys again someday yeah, in the future. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Thank you so much. You. Thank you very much. So nice. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye bye. So sadly, this is where we say goodbye to the Orient Express. We're right on the tip of France, but this journey doesn't end just yet. We're about to catch a coach under the underground, so under through the channel to Folston in the UK, and that's where we're going to be boarding our second train. We're going to be jumping onto the Belmond British Pullman, and I'm excited just to see what this one looks like. Um, we just got onto the coach. There's a coffee machine back there. It's like the fanciest bus I've ever seen. Fanciest bus. This is a bit better than Mega Bus that we caught across the last time Wait, we came across the channel. Look at the back. It looks like a boardroom meeting in the back. Oh wow, fancy. <laughs> And of course, we're in the UK, got the newspaper. So we are now in the Euro Tunnel. We've just been served champagne and in about 30 minutes, we'll be in England. First of all, just gotta go under the water, but yeah. of course they had to make it in style while giving us champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so okay, much, thanks, see ya. We're now going to board another very luxury train, the British Pullman, which is going to complete the journey here from Folkestone all the way into London. So each of the different carriages has a lot of history. The one that's just pulled up in front of me, Audrey, this carried Queen Elizabeth II multiple times. We just need to find which one we are in. Hello. 
Welcome, sir. Which carriage are you in? Uh, Zena. Zena, round to your left. Left. Rocco will be there to show to your seat. Thank you. Welcome. So for the cherry on top of an already unforgettable time aboard the British Pullman, we were served champagne once again, as well as a full British high tea. We had unlimited tea from England with top-ups just about every 10 minutes, along with small sandwiches, treats, and of course we had to have some scones. You can't have scones without high tea in England. And then we slowly watched the sunset drift in as we arrived into London. But we both hope you had an absolutely incredible journey with us going across the Orient Express. Honestly, this was a once in a lifetime experience and we're so thankful that Amaze had this happen. So if you guys want to win a trip or two aboard the Venice Simple on Orient Express, make sure you head to amaze.com slash fly in the nest and donate because it's for a great cause. Hurry up guys, I really want to see one of you do this full experience because it was unbelievable and unforgettable but if you are new around here make sure you hit subscribe give the video a thumbs up and share it with someone thanks so much for watching guys we'll see you next time